Water covers about 71% of Earth's surface. It is a chemical compound whose chemical formula is H2O, which means that water is made up of two elements, namely hydrogen and oxygen. However, how will we confirm that water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen? Well, in order to find the answer to this question, we have to split water. This we can do through a process called electrolysis. Electrolysis refers to the usage of electricity for decomposing a substance. In the given chemical equation, water is breaking down into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas when electricity is passed through it. Let us understand the process of electrolysis. The apparatus required for performing the electrolysis of water is called the Hoffman's voltmeter. The Hoffman's voltmeter consists of three joint upright tubes. The inner tube is open at the top to allow the addition of the electrolyte, which is the acidulated water. The two outer glass tubes are connected to a platinum electrode. These electrodes are connected to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. The electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery is called the anode and the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery is called the cathode. When the electric current is passed through the water, it dissociates into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions. Observe the slow evolution of the gases. At the cathode, the positively charged hydrogen ions get discharged as the hydrogen atoms that form the hydrogen molecules. At the anode, the negatively charged hydroxyl ions are discharged and they form water and oxygen gas. Each of the two gases displaces water and gets collected at the top of the two outer tubes. Now observe the volume of the gases released at two electrodes. You will notice that the volume of the hydrogen gas released at the cathode is double the volume of the oxygen gas formed at the anode. However, how will we confirm that the gas released at the cathode is hydrogen gas and the gas released at the anode is the oxygen gas? In order to find out the answer to this question, collect the gas formed at the cathode in a test tube. And close the mouth of the test tube with a stopcock and label it C. Similarly, collect the gas formed at the anode and label it A. Take the test tube C and bring a lit matchstick close to its mouth. The pop sound proves that the gas in the test tube C is hydrogen. Now, take out the test tube A and bring the glowing splint close to the mouth of the test tube A. The ignition of the glowing splint proves that the gas in the test tube A is oxygen. So, from the electrolysis of water, we conclude that water is made up of two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. Also, the amount of hydrogen is twice the amount of oxygen. 
This is the reason why the chemical formula of water is H2O.